Now to one of the biggest headlines of the week. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs fight with a UCLA coach. Combs was arrested by UCLA campus police after a confrontation inside the athletic training facility with Bruins conditioning coach Sal Alosi. Now Combs' son plays football for UCLA and apparently he got angry when the coach shouted at his son. In a statement, Combs' representative says he is confident that once the true facts are revealed, the case will be dismissed. Wow, we'll see about that. Now, Diddy certainly isn't the first parent to get into it with a child's coach. The incident brings up the debate of so-called helicopter parenting, and that's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on Facebook and on Twitter. Let us know what you think about those parents who just kind of hover over their kids. Well, joining us live in the newsroom right now is Fox 26 senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst Mustafa Temiz, and public policy analyst, the lovely Jackie Bally. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right, and I know none of you guys are helicopter parents, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm certainly not. Um, you know, I have a message for uh, P. Diddy or, or Puff. What, what is his name? P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Puff Diddy. I have a message for P. Diddy. You can call him Puff Diddy. That's right. <laughs> Grow up and get off the field and leave, your, leave the coach and your son alone and let the coach teach your son a thing or two. That's the message for every parent who does this. You know, I coached youth soccer for 15 years and have dealt uh, plenty of times with, with parents who want to run out on the field when, when their child gets hurt and, and get in the middle of coaching. We are there to teach your children a lot of things and we can make them better, stronger adults if you'll just stay out of the way. That's the message. And, and it's, it's a big message. It's a good, solid message. You know, Jackie, I quit coaching three years ago and have received letters from my kids today saying everything you told me has come true and thank you for teaching me how to be a better person. Yeah, I think a lot of us, I know you find this shocking, but I think I've been an overzealous parent once or twice with my sons. I know you're We never would have that. known by looking at <laughs> Facebook. But I think all of us who care about our kids can be accused of doing that once in a while. But I will say this about coaches like you who've put in the time to volunteer and, and teach our kids. You're teaching them life skills that right. they will take on in the future. And um, based on what little we've heard about this incident, uh, we, we don't know really what's going on. And the fact that he actually approached the coach after um, the coach reprimanded his son is a little suspicious, but we really don't know the facts. But at, at the ending of the day, we need to remember only 5% of our kids go on to play college and then an even smaller amount right. go on to play professional sports. So it's the, it really the, the team leadership skills that we're really hoping that our kids take away from all of this. And when we start attacking the coach or, or we don't want our kids to actually um, be, get reprimanded, right. our kids are really the ones who are embarrassed and hurt by our actions. I mean, when, when, when a parent does this, they're, doing, they're not doing their child any favors. This kid's in college, for crying out loud. Leave him alone. Yeah, he's a UCLA quarterback. Uh, but I think this, this might have a little nuance. This coach himself has a little bit of a checkered pass. Uh, he used to play, he was a coach in the NFL. And why he left the NFL was because he tripped the opponent's team's player while he was running down the field. I remember that. You, that's the guy, right? So, uh, and he's had, you know, other issues in his life. So, you know, he has a, uh, a, a pass in which he tries to set up other people. And I think before we rush to judgment about uh, P. Diddy, as you like to call him, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we, we have to kind of, we have to think about it. Because in, in a way, we do want to blame the celebrities all the time when something goes wrong. Every now and then it might not be their fault. This is cracking me up that Mustafa has the scoop on P. Diddy. I know. He's, he's, he's <laughs> I'm up on P. Diddy. He's I'm cool that PD. way. <laughs> he's, he's got all of his albums. Uh, let's go to Domily. She's monitoring our social media. I am. I'm, I'm getting some good comments here. All right. Eddie Dudley at Eddie59, he says, he, he's got two words for us, overzealous parent, don't do it, he says in, in a couple of other tweets. So, you know, but it does sound like in this case, there are, uh, you know, maybe a little bit on both sides because the coach has, has a past in the history and then, you know, 
but we have all heard of those stories of the, the parents getting a little bit too overzealous at the Little League games. And uh, Jackie, I know you don't do that. N not at all. No. You know, <laughs> and, and the problem, as I, as I pointed out earlier, the problem is, is, is we've got something that we're trying to impart on these children. And when the parents get involved and run out on the field and, and get in the middle of the situation, they're taking away everything that we're trying to teach yeah. these kids. Whether, uh, whether P. Diddy did something wrong or not, we'll find that out. But the greater issue and the greater message here is let your children learn outside of your bubble and they'll be better, greater kids and yeah. better adults. Yeah, and, and look, the, the sports, whether they're, um, you, you know, uh, uh, soccer games when you're very young or you're, you're a UCLA quarterback, um, they teach you a lot more than the technical aspects of the story. They teach you discipline, how to get along with others, how to follow direction. There's a whole elements of that. And most parents get into the competitive nature. I shouldn't say most parents. Some parents get into the competitive nature. And that, I think, is not just a detriment to their kids, but it spoils the environment for all the other kids right. that are part does, of it. Yeah. I, even, I even one time um, banned a parent from coming to his son's games because he was so over the top, Domily, that I wrote him a letter and said, you cannot come back to these <laughs> games. And uh, he straightened up. Uh, well, I, I guess he should. And who knew Mustafa was the, the expert on rappers? I, I, yeah. I, I did not way. know. A, a new <laughs> skill we've just realized. Yeah. I had no idea. All right, thanks, guys.